Hi right, everybody again, this is Dinosaur Crit, Dino Crassic, Dino Crass, excuse me, uh, for another episode of Prehistoric Facts with a special episode, and like I said before in episode 98 on Symbol Spondylus, I'm actually going to talk about for this one in episode 99, would actually be about the land-based uh, Triassic Reptile, and that would actually be Dismatosuchus. Now, Dismatosuchus in uh, Greek or Latin means Link Crocodile. Uh, lived in the Triassic period about 228 to 210 million years ago. Uh, fossils have mostly been, mostly been found in uh, the United States, mostly like in the southwestern parts of the United States. And uh, it is actually a herbivore and uh, belonged to a group of archosaurs called Aetosauria. And so those would probably be more likely the armored. Uh, type of reptiles that actually were herbivores and so Dismatosuchus is a herbivore and the distinguishing features of Dismatosuchus has got it's got armored plates all along its back and it's got these shoulder spikes uh, on on it with the longest ones actually being almost three feet which is amazing uh, to think of that this guy was heavily armored so this would mean that this animal was really slow and uh, you know, would not actually uh, tolerate predators very well and so that's why it probably had uh, that armor plating and to actually protect itself and probably the top predator at that time uh, would, would be Postosuchus and so that would actually be the animal they would more likely be encountering uh, from time to time uh, if it actually had to, but I think Postosuchus would steered away from Dismatosuchus because it did not pro probably did not want to actually go after uh, Dismatosuchus, especially if it's going to get injured, and in, you know, especially with those shoulder spikes, possibly going to like inflict a nasty wound, like in the ribs area and the legs, or even possibly in the head. You know, because this Matasuchus could actually thrust its shoulders, or could actually uh, thrust its shoulders around to actually show off that, hey, I'm a dangerous animal. Do not mess with me. And so, yeah, it would actually probably show off those those spikes to for display mostly. But even though, it could actually do some hefty duty damage to, like, say, a uh, Postosuchus. Now, Coelophysis would still be around at that time, but. I don't think Coelophysis would dare go near uh, Dismatosuchus, especially of a pack of them. They probably wouldn't actually dare go after that, considering that Coelophysis is a bit smaller. Dinosaurs are very uncommon uh, at that time in the Triassic, and so that would actually be the, the case of that, considering that reptiles dominated the Triassic like crazy. And... And the Triassic would be really hot, and so it would actually be a very hot and dry type of environment, so it fits very well with reptiles. And that would actually be the case for uh, Dismatosuchus, is that it probably would be a cold-blooded animal, it would not be warm-blooded, so it would actually uh, need to thermoregulate, so it would actually need sunlight in order, s sunlight to get body heat uh, to actually function properly. And uh, this Matasuchus has been shown in some popular culture um, documentary series. Well, one is actually called When Dinosaurs Roamed America. It actually was actually shown uh, in When Dinosaurs Roamed America, When Dinosaurs Roamed America, uh, in the Triassic period of New York. But we don't really know if uh, if uh, this Matasuchus really did live in New York at that time. But there's a possibility that its footprints were actually preserved there. So it could actually be the case that they did live. Uh, in the uh, New England area uh, in the Triassic. And also it was actually uh, shown in Animal Armageddon in terms of the camp uh, event, which would actually be the Atlantic, the forming of the Atlantic Ocean, which is where the con the Pangea has actually, start has actually started to break up, and that would actually be a cons consideration of why it went extinct. And so Rep, the Triassic reptiles, besides dinosaurs and pterosaurs, and even some of the marine reptiles, uh, they actually would have uh, died out uh, due to uh, due to that kind of change. Is that a volcanic event that actually uh, 
would have actually caused a lot of problems for those reptiles. Now, a lot of scientists thought that these reptiles could have survived this extinction, but it was only the dinosaurs, the marine reptiles, and the pterosaurs, uh, and some insects, mammals, other reptiles, amphibians, uh, fishes, sharks, uh, you name it, uh, have survived. And so, and another thing about the reason why it possibly got extinct is about its breathing. And so it actually had a very primitive lung design. And how, what would it actually be? And this would actually be called carrier's constraint, which would actually be what reptiles actually do have is when, when they, because see how they move is that their backbones kind of move side to side. And what happens is, is that it actually makes, kind of makes the lungs function uh, by compressing on one side and expanding on the other when it moves and so that causes some problems so you're not breathing so it's breathing not like mammals do where mammals have a diaphragm to actually help their lungs actually breathe in and out and so that actually would be a cause for concern with this metasuchus so it would actually have trouble breathing with the with the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere while dinosaurs could actually get more oxygen because they actually have the lungs of a bird where they have multiple air sacs. This Matasuchus did not have that. They actually just had normal reptile lungs. And so that would actually be the carrier's constraint type of thing. And so it would actually have died out due to the tri and Triassic uh, extinction. And so that would actually be the, the case there for Dismanosuchus to be extinct. All right, that's it for now. Now, even though I got the episode 100 coming up, that would actually be uploaded on the weekend of June 2nd to June 4th. So right around those days is when I'll be uploading that episode. And uh, in, in case you didn't notice uh, with... Uh, with the, the, the past episodes that I've actually have uploaded, uh, you have seen I actually do have a intro, which is actually kind of cool. Is that um, I I can't name the guy that actually do this, but I, I would thank him very much for doing that. He actually just made this uh, graphic actually look really really incredible, and uh, and of course uh, it's kind of shown in. Uh, in the first part of each episode so you actually can see that and, uh, I've been actually using a uh, movie maker on my computer so it actually helps a lot to actually get some graphics in there to, act to get some of the graphics uh, that I need to actually uh, use and also considering that YouTube has decided to actually get rid of the annotations so that would actually be the case is that I'm gonna have to use movie maker uh, for most of the time but I still will use my my camera on my laptop to actually record the episodes. Now on episode 100 I will be using a different camera and that would actually be a camera on my tablet and so this would now this would actually be in segments though too so this you would actually see like some uh, skipping moments uh, in the in the episode so this would actually be a little bit different but even though this would actually be really really good to actually get to show certain parts of this type of animal. Now that's all I'm going to say about what kind of animal it would actually be. And now this is this episode would actually be in location. So this would actually be in a place where uh, it will be recorded and it will be a place where it, you can actually see this uh, animal and I'm going to be right beside this uh, skeleton. So this would actually be really, really cool. And now, like I said before, it will be a redux, so it will be an animal that I've already talked about. And so this would actually be a skeleton that everybody should actually get a good glimpse of this type of animal. Uh, the one, and I'll be standing right next to it, and I'll be showing certain features of this skeleton, give you good more and more facts about that animal uh, as, as that goes on. But anyway... Uh, you can still send me questions about dinosaurs and any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com. Or just go on the Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you can actually post your questions in the comments section on any Facebook post. Remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at CSJIL. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, take care of the people around you. Notice if you're younger people like them, so listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. So, the best motivation you can have for good education is very important to have a good education. So, with a good education, you can a good job in the future now like i said i'll let now like i said uh, many many times is that i will be posting clues about this about about this type of animal that i'll be talking about in episode 100 
and uh, so and that will actually happen just after these episodes are actually uploaded. So Sunday, uh, so pretty much tomorrow, Sunday, May twenty eighth is when I'll actually 2000, 2017. I'll actually be posting pictures of the ske certain parts of the skeleton. But you're gonna have to keep on guessing on what this animal could be. Now this is it. Like I said before, it's a redux. And uh, all right, that's it for now, everybody. And I'll actually take care. And also see you guys next week.